Well, and, and a lot of, you know, this is going back to the earlier topic, a little bit of complexity, but like a lot of what, cause people will say you get into, or I get into arguments with people and they're like, oh no, Docker is amazing technology that lets you solve these problems. And I'm like, but those are just problems that we created like in the nineties and two thousands. Any, they're not like real problems. They're not fundamentals of computers. They're just like, well, we created all these process complexities about, do you have the right DLLs and like file system view and whatever. And here's a way to remedy this thing, this bad idea that we had. And, and so yeah. now you've, you've layered on the bad ideas and then layered on the mostly kind <laughs> of remedies for the bad. And you're just stacking more things. Yeah. And, and that's more things that people have to deal with. Right. So again, back when I was in college in the nineties on workstation class computers, we would just copy programs around and run them because they were on the same operating system. They were mostly statically linked at that time. If they were dynamically linked, the DLLs were compatible, or, you know, shared object files. These were Unix systems. Um, and like it, it was fine. You didn't need a Docker container to deploy things. Right. <laughs> and then um, we somehow made a world where you need to do that. And mm. it's like, OK, I just stay away from all of those things. So the, the game. OK, here, here's a thing where people in the video games industry are kind of culturally different from most other programmers is I feel like the majority of the programming industry is in this mode where programming means I interoperate with the environment uh, to, I almost don't know how to say it because I don't live in that culture. I'm trying to say it like in a non, in a non straw man -y way, but it's like, yeah. It's like programming is about uh, interfacing with the operating system and interfacing with the libraries, all the libraries I'm using and all these things. And video game people have a very different view because we grew up in a world where we had very extreme requirements yeah. and we're all competing with each other on like every pixel on the screen. And so the, the faster you could draw things and the better they looked, then you won, right? And that meant being very lean and it meant being very precise. And so um, you can't be lean and precise if you don't know your underlying substrate that you're running on. Mm. Um, like you can't just be like, well, on this operating system, I'm going to interface this way. And on this one, I'm going to interface that way. And I don't know what these interface libraries I'm doing. I'm using do. I just sort of use them. That doesn't work for us. And so our culture is to isolate ourselves from the underlying system to the greatest degree possible and to only interface begrudgingly and minimalistically and provide our own functionality for most things that we need. And so, for example, if you want to draw text on the screen, a video game person, we've got our text drawing code, whether that's a, a library that we're using or whether we wrote it ourselves, both things happen. Um, it's something that we provide. It's not something we get from the OS, right? Uh, the font data, something that we, because we want to draw the same font everywhere. Like we don't want to mm. query the font from the operating system and get something slightly different here versus there. And then it's like three pixels off and it doesn't like wrap correctly, right. which is things you see all the time in like regular software. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, like, like if you want robustness, there's just certain things that you should do that most culture, most programming culture thinks a different way than that. Mm.